Welcome. See, we have you in for a cranial nerve exam today. Is that correct? Wonderful. So from your chart, we recently had you in for one already this month, but looks like you were recommended to come back for another. Okay, is something wrong? Did you hit your head? You took a little tumble. Okay. Well, we'll check you out and make sure everything is all right. And if not, we'll get you to the right specialist to take care of you. So what happened? Just a little trip. A little tumble. Just gotta get my gloves on here. And then we'll get started. So since your fall, have you noticed any loss of taste or smell? Okay. How about your eyesight? It's been a little fuzzy. Okay. Okay, to start off your exam, I'm going to be doing a visual inspection of your head and your face, including palpating around your sinuses, your forehead, your temples, checking out your jaw and your lymph nodes, okay? Alright, so just stay still for me. I'm going to get right close. Just going to get right up here. Just take a look at your head here. Just going to move your hair aside a little bit. Okay. Alright. And... Huh. Oh, that's not... You sure you didn't hit your head? Real hard when you fell. A bump up here and then. Yeah, does that hurt if I tap on it? Tap, tap, tap. No? Okay, well, I definitely want to get maybe an X ray and, uh, and a CT scan. So I'll mark that on your chart for you. But otherwise, perhaps your head looks okay. Alright, let's take a look at your face here. I'm just gonna. Come cup your jaw. Feel around your jawline. Looking, feeling your lymph nodes here. Oh. Right here. One's a little swollen. Just gonna move down a little more. Oh. That lymph node's a little swollen too. Okay. It's, it's alright. It's not a problem. Okay, just gonna come up to your forehead, just feeling around, I'm gonna feel the sides of your temples here, and I'm just gonna press, 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 how's that feel? A little tender, okay, just do it one more time, press, 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 still tender, okay, how about up here on your forehead, I'm gonna go and percuss right in the middle of your forehead, tap, 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 how's that feel? Also tender. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Hmm. All right. Now I'm going to feel down your nose. Down your nose. Down your nose. How's that feel? Like it's making your nose stuffy. Interesting. All right. And how about under your eyes here? If I just press, 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 press along your sinuses, right under your eyes. Press, 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 press. Tender as well. All right, well, I'm going to make a note on your chart. Looks like you have some sensitivity. Normally, during that part of the exam, people give me a resounding no to everything. You said yes to everything. So that indicates that there might be a small issue that we need to deal with. But in the meantime, let's keep examining you. Can you go ahead and open your mouth for me? Give me a big old ah. Come on, ah. Open, open. Open that mouth. Huh. Throat's a little red. That's uh, quite common, so... Make a note of that. All right, my friend. Well, obviously there's a little bit of an issue, but let's keep the exam going. I'm going to take a look at your ears next. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my otoscope here. Turn the light on. I'm just going to be going to each ear, taking a look inside, making sure everything is good, okay? All right. So I'm just going to come over here real quick. Just take a look inside. Take a look inside. And, oh, that is quite a lot of wax build up in there. Quite a lot. And your ear canal looks a little irritated. Have you been shoving Q-tips deep in your ears? Can't do that. It's not good for your ear canal. Oh boy. Yeah, we're definitely going to get you into an ENT appointment. You need an ear cleaning with your throat being as it is. So, well, I'd like him to check that out. And you said that that minor pressure made your nose and sinuses feel stuffy, so... Definitely an ENT exam in your future. Let's take a look over here. Mm. Yeah, the same thing over here. Inflamed ear canal. Tympanic membrane is not looking super pearly either. A little dull. And that might be a minor... You might have a minor abrasion on your eardrum, actually. If you've gone to any loud concerts lately. Have you had any very loud noises very close to your ear? Alright, well, we'll get you to an ENT and... They'll get you checked out, okay? But while I have you here, I'd like you to close your eyes for me. Close them, close them, close them. And I'm going to just make a noise in each ear, and all I want you to do is hold up a finger and let me know if you hear that noise, okay? Okay. Here we go. Good. Good. Very good. Great. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to whisper a word in each ear, and I want you to repeat it back to me, all right? All right. Close those eyes for me again. Close them, close them. Relax. Good. Good. Vacation. Good. Pokemon. Good. Star Wars. No. Okay. Mischief. Couldn't hear that either. So you can identify noises, but not all the words. Huh. Huh. All right. Has there been any other issues with your hearing outside of your inability to identify different sounds? You don't know. All right. Well, that's fair. Can you tell me when all of this began? Do you even remember the accident? No, okay, so maybe some memory issues. We're going to try something a little bit different. Since this is a cranial nerve exam, what I have are some cotton balls, and they're all soaked in a different scent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold one up to your nose. I want you to just smell it, and let me know if you can smell it, okay? All right, let's get the first one here. Remember, just sniff, just smell. What do you smell? Ammonia. No, that was lemon. Or citrus would have been appropriate. Let's try another one, shall we? Smell that. What do you smell? No, not, not garbage, that's peppermint. So, okay, let's try another one. How about this? What 
Can you smell what this? No, that was coffee. All right, so your sense of smell is very off. I'm definitely gonna put that on your chart for the ENT appointment. So that's a little disappointing. Um, if your sense of smell is off, then that means your sense of taste is gonna be all out of whack too. So I think we're gonna need to do a kind of full overall examination of your nose and throat functionality because it doesn't seem to be working properly at the moment. And that's a little bit concerning to me. So we're gonna take a look at your eyes next, okay? And you said things have been semi-fuzzy since your accident that you don't remember? Okay, that's fine. All right, well, because there was an accident, I just wanna make sure that, you know, everything is still intact and where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna do a real quick measuring of the distance between your eyes, okay? Just hold still for me. I'm just going to be... Oh, that can't be right. Hold on, I apologize. That was probably me. Let's try this again, okay? One more time. That's a little odd. Um, Seems your eyes have drifted farther apart than what your previous records indicate. So that might be a little bit of an issue, but we'll, we'll figure that out with your next doctor, okay? All right, well, now that we've discovered that, why don't we do some basic light assessment tests with you, all right? So just look at this light. You can see this light, right? Can you see this light? Can you see this light? Can you see this light? You shot the third time, okay. Let's try this. Can you see this light right here in front of your eyes? Good. Just follow it. I'm just gonna go very, very slowly. Just a small box pattern. Just follow the line. Follow the light. Follow, follow. Good job. Pull it back a little bit. Just keep following. Keep following. Good. Good. You're doing a great job. Keep following that line. Very good. You're doing wonderful. Wait, no. Over here. It's over here. Come on. Good. It's over here now. All right. I'm getting a little concerned. It's late on or off right now. No, it's definitely on. How about now? No, it's on. How about now? No, it's off. Okay, good. Just keep following that light for me. You're doing great. Can you see my fingers over here while you're following the light? Can you see those? No? Can you hear them? No. Okay. So I put them up next to your ear. Still can't hear it. Okay. How about over here? Can you see my fingers? Can you see my fingers back here? Come on. Can you? Hmm, okay, how about, can you hear them and follow the light at the same time? Hmm. So 
it seems you're having a hard time processing multiple sensation inputs simultaneously. We're going to continue with your eye exam here. I'm going to check your pupillary response, so I'm just going to use my eye block here. Place that up to your eye and then just swing the light in and out. Looking for that pupil response. Looking for that pupil response. And I'm not seeing it, not seeing any dilation or contraction. No dilation, no contraction. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, no dilation, no contraction over here either. Interesting. Oh, that's not too great. But we'll get that figured out for you. Don't worry about that. That might just be the issue of your eyes drifting farther apart, which we will get taken care of for you. Let's do a little snow and charge, shall we? So can you just follow with me and read along? No, that, that, that's an E. How about over here? Right there. That's a T. No, that's, that's L, not I. How about this one? No. How about this? No. That one? Also, no. That. Also, no. Are you sure you couldn't read any of these? Let's try this one right here. All right, I'm gonna come really close, okay? Look. Come on, you can do this. You can do this, you got it. Come on. No, okay. Okay, you didn't get anything right on the eye chart, which means you probably won't get anything right on that eye chart back there either. It's a little bit concerning to me. How about we do some number recognition? Same thing about like that eye chart, except this time I want you to just repeat the number. No, that, that's a nine, not an eight. That, that's five. That's, that's a three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How about that? No? This isn't too... These aren't even that small. How about that one? That one. That one. You didn't get any of these right either. Okay. So I think we're gonna set you up with an optometry appointment as well. How about a quick color blindness test? Though so I'm not holding out too much hope for you on this. Can you see the number inside the circle? No, that's a six, not a nine. Okay. How about this one? No. Alright, let's see if we can find something a little easier. How about this one? It's a two. How was it two? Alright, this should be a lot easier. How about that right there? Very simple, very bright. Right there. And you just see a bunch of red circles. Okay, then, my friend. Um, definitely going to be setting you up with an optometry appointment. Do one more color recognition test. Because I'm curious. I feel like you might be messing with me a little bit. I haven't had anyone do this poorly on a cranial nerve exam in a long time. 
and you recognize this color. It's not green. That was blue. How about this color? That was orange, not yellow. How about this color? That was yellow, not green. But this. That was purple. And this one. You don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just gonna make another note. We'll definitely get you taken care of and get you right back to 100%, I promise. Now, we only have one more section of this exam left, and that is the sensation portion, where I am going to be testing the senses of your skin, basically to either a light touch or a blunt touch. I'm also going to be testing your eyelid reaction, just to make sure that your eyelids are functioning properly. So we're going to start with that. For that... Take this cotton ball here, pull up a little, little, little wisp, and I'm just going to gently run it by the corner of your eye. I'm just looking for your eyelid reaction. One, two, three, stay still. Nothing. Okay, let's, let's try that again. One, two, three. Nothing. Okay. To the other eye, then. One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. N nothing. Did you did you feel that at all? Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's definitely interesting. I've never, in all my years of practice, seen anyone not react to that test. So now we're gonna go on the final sensation test, which is the touch test. So again, I'm going to use the cotton ball here. I'm going to use this really blunt metal pointer, and I'm either going to touch you the soft or the blunt. Soft or the blunt. So why don't you close your eyes for me. Close them, close them, close them, and I'm just going to be touching you different areas of your face, okay? All right, here we go. Touch. No, that was the soft, not the blunt. Touch. No, that was soft again. Touch. No, that was blunt this time, not, not, not soft. Touch. Again, that was blunt, not soft. These feel very different. Are you feeling okay today? Hold on, let me feel your forehead. You don't, you don't feel feverish. Let's keep going. Touch. No, that, that was soft. Touch. That was also blunt, not soft. Touch. That was soft, not blunt. And that was blunt, not soft. Touch. That was blunt that time. Good job. Oh, you, you just cast. Okay, okay, don't cast. Just tell me what you feel. Touch. That was blunt. Touch. Not blunt, soft, touch. Not soft, blunt. Touch. Not soft. That was blunt. Okay. Normally I don't utilize this tool, but your sensations seem to be extremely off, so I'm going to use my pinwheel here. This is for testing extreme nerve sensitivity issues. This is a little sharp, but it will not pierce your skin. 
I'm just going to be gently touching you. Not even going to roll it, just going to gently touch you. So if you can feel a little prick, again, won't pierce your skin. You won't bleed, but I just need to test to see if you can feel anything. So here we go. Touch. Nothing. Touch. Still nothing. Touch. Nothing. All right, and touch. Still nothing. Okay. Just going to make a note here on your chart. I wouldn't worry too much. We'll uh, get you set up with an ENT and an optometrist and a neurologist and maybe a brain surgeon. So go home, relax, hydrate, try not to do anything strenuous, and I'll make some calls. We'll get you set up, and I'll see you soon, and hopefully next time I see you, everything will be back in working order. All right, my friend? Okay, don't worry. We'll get you fixed up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.